Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Card Hog, which is a new game. It's on Steam and it's in early access apparently, and uh, and we're gonna play it. Now, full disclosure, I did receive my copy of this game for free. Um, and I don't know anything about it other than it's uh it's a game of, with it's like a dungeon crawling game with cards. If unlocked. I don't I don't know how to unlock it. Okay, I, I, don't, I literally do not know what I did. Alright, well let's grab that stick and fight that thing. Alright. Alright, this is... Uh, pain is... But there are ways to heal. Right. So I took some damage there. Um, one out of two kills, okay. Had to kill both of them, but I took some damage. Alright, so it's a... Dungeon crawler card game? That's interesting. Um, sometimes all you need is a little bit of magic. Oh, we had we got some magic. What about this one? I don't know I don't know what that means. Aim this at an enemy you want to hurt. There we go. We've got one health. Okay, so that was Oh, so you can play multiplayer. And there's the workshop. Alright, let's play single player. Oh, Dungeon crawl. All right. Um, I guess what, what's the? I don't know what the differences are. It said four by three to start with, so we're gonna do that. All right. So I don't know what that is. That's a trap or something, right? So we've got some swords and stuff. We've got two swords. I don't know where we're trying to get to. There we go. We fought that thing. Good. Oh, but I lost my sword. That's bad. Oh, that's back. Took some damage there. That's alright. Let's fight that thing. Get the treasure. Oh, there's a mole there. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Oh, we're getting attacked. There we go. Killed him. Oh, we got a shovel. And kill it. Nice. Oh, we get some treasure, and then we get to go... Oh. Do we just keep playing? I mean... I don't... I guess I don't really understand what we're doing. Yeah, so we got some... Health. We go here. We go there. Oh, there's a snake. Get that. Fight him. So is it just, you just keep walking around doing stuff, I guess. Oh, weird. Alright. So we just keep doing this until we until we lose? I, I honestly have no idea what the end goal is here. Yeah, we needed some health. There we go. Um, whatever that is. It's a mole. We'll have that. So fight this thing. Oh, I don't, I don't know what just happened, but that's okay. I guess we're going to go that way, and that way, and that way, and we got a poison thing. What is that? That's a poison effect to your next attack. Oh, all right. Well, let's get this health so we don't die. All right. Like I said, I, re I literally am not sure what it is that I'm supposed to be doing, but we are doing it. Um, yeah, that's easier. And we'll have that. I guess we'll stand on that. Go there. Is that, like... It's fine if that's if that's the game. If this is the game here. Um, I have no problem with it. I'm just curious as to... Oh, what was that? I, I want some cards. Yes. Do I do I have enough money? I don't, I don't have enough money. Right. We gotta get some more money. My weapons look rusty. Oh, right. So, upgrade the sword. Plus two damage. Right. Um, alright. So we had some scrap. Now our sword is upgraded. I wonder if... Oh. I wonder if it stays upgraded. Like, is our, all, all our swords upgraded now? Uh, let's have that. Yeah. There we go. And... They're on fire. Gotta love it when things are on fire. 
Ooh, what does that mean? I don't I don't know what that does. I guess we're gonna take some damage here. Get some more scrap. Kill whatever that is. And that one. Get some more health. Look, I, I actually this is just I think it's just a card game where you adventure around the square fighting things, I guess. Uh ooh. This is all bad. That's a boss there. Um well, this way we can maybe survive. Yep. Get some health. Nice. Get that. Get that. Yeah. We'll get some more scrap. We need to keep that weird thing at bay. Oof. Uh, now there are two bosses. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh. What just, what is that? More power, I have no idea what that means. Uh, oop. Alright, give me whatever that is. I don't... So that bull is like charging around and I think I just die here. There we go. No, I think we're dead. Yeah, no, we died. Right, so... Shift key to learn more about the cards. Okay, well let's let's go. Let's go. What is flame escape? So that's a right. I don't. I honestly. Oh, we're running away from the flames. Okay. There we go. We've got a. We got that. I don't. Like I said, I do not know what we're doing, but we are escaping the flames. Valid skill to dodge an attack. Burning little fella, health minus one. Oh, he exploded on me. That's pretty rude. Let's get some treasure. Uh. Oh, I went backwards. That's really not what I wanted to do. Um, alright. Ooh. Ooh. We're, we're getting we're getting caught it's all bad it's all bad news oh ah we got caught by the flames no all right um there's dungeon crawl flame escape you can escape together or duel and there's a workshop card editor new card oh uh okay uh it's taken me out of the game and said enter new card id uh Let's call it a, um, Mr. Jacobs. Oh, no. All right, so my, uh, attempt to upload an image to their card creator thing crashed the game. Um, and I thought that was a good time for us to jump into looking at the description. Um, because, you know, we've seen the game, we were playing it, I was having some fun. Um, and obviously there's more to the game. Uh, but, uh, I'm really interested in being able to make my own cards. That sounds like fun. And... Yeah, but, uh, you know, I like the game. I, I do like it. It's cutesy, it's fun, it's, uh, you know, it's simple without being, um, like, without, you know, interesting choices you get to make. In fact, there's quite a lot of choices you get to make. Um, sometimes you do get forced into a situation where you die. Um, and I, it's just about navigating an ever-changing uh, gauntlet of things while trying to collect the most resources. It's pretty cool. It's a, it's a game that I haven't played before. And it's a game style that I haven't really played before. Um, and it's easy to forget that they're cards and not, you know, things that you're actually having to go fight. So, um, it's developed by Snout Up Games and it came out today. Uh, and it's in early access here. It costs $3.89. That's a perfect price, you know, for something this simple. Um, and this kind of art style. I do wish there was, like, some different kind of music or something. Because the music that is there is very cutesy and easy to loop. But it is kind of constant I mean um, you know just a, a little something different you know just every once in a while something new you know this would be the sort of game where you could play a lot of it but it would need to have like a good soundtrack and not just the same sort of MIDI loop over and over um, they're looking at approximately six uh, four to six months for early access cool um, and the full story full version is supposed to have a uh, full story mode that would be rad um, a functional uh, card editor and Steam Workshop integration Excellent. Excellent. More playable characters, bosses, and various cards. I like it. 
I like it. Like I said, $3.89 is a perfect price for this um, because it's small, it's cute, and it's pretty fun. Um, it doesn't need to be more than that, and you, you'll get a lot of people uh, taking you up on that at that price. Pick a pig card and embark on a grid-based dungeon crawl jam-packed with weird creatures, dangerous traps, powerful weapons, and magic. Addictive card-based dungeon crawling, multiple game modes, dozens of enemies and bosses to discover and defeat, characters with different card sets and perks, tons of card combinations, humorous shenanigans. Excellent. Yep, and they're, they're going to be updating, and uh, yeah, you can play uh, PvP, you can play uh, local um, co-op, there's all sorts of good stuff going on here, so I'm, I'm very pleased. So Snout Up also has a game called Iron Snout. Which I guess they I guess they really like pigs, which is why they're the name of the development studio Snout Up. That makes sense. Um, oh, it looks like you can download the demo for Card Hog um, before you buy the full thing. Cool. So if you want to try it out, you can uh, click on the link in the description and go play the demo um, yourself without having to pay the very high sum of three dollars eighty nine. I'm being sarcastic, of course. For those of you who can't read sarcasm, three dollars eighty nine is very very uh well priced for this type of game so they've also got a game called toaster jam which doesn't look quite as um fleshed out and that's fine so yeah i got a lot of good things to say about this it's um like i said it's simple but cool and well executed and nowhere to go but up for early access because they can add that story mode they can add more content um, but the main game is functional and it's already fun and that's what I'm always talking about with early access you know early access is not an excuse to release a game in in a alpha state you know where you're expecting the the players to play test the core mechanics of your game for you that stuff should be already sorted before you release into early access and they've done that the, the core mechanics of this game work perfectly the the moving around with the cards and um, the combat and the collecting the the coins and all that it all works very well um, the art styles uh, you know very nice and kind of like I don't know I don't know how to describe it other than it's cutesy and I didn't want to keep saying that word because then it starts to lose its meaning but um, I, I am aware that the chipmunk noises that I just made are probably not uh, super helpful in your decision making process so very cool check it out click on the link in the description download the demo play it yourself pick up the game it's excellent and uh yeah i'm gonna leave it there so thanks for watching like and subscribe leave me a comment down below i try to answer all the comments and if i if it takes me a couple days uh i also do have a full-time job that i do besides this so uh apologies and uh stay safe out there and i'll see you guys next time class dismissed